Howdy folks, Bad Mark here with Mech Tech Keyboards, just with a real quick transmission. Um, this is the Back in Echo 60. It's a cool little keyboard. It's an open source project that Canon Keys uh, made um, the original one. Now, there's the 65 and the 60. The 65 is built slightly different as it has a blocker. But one of my issues with this keyboard is this. It's using the clip and stabilizers as and the actual keys themselves as anchors for the o-ring so now if I were to very carefully pop this out you can see how that o-ring has now come out of spot now yeah I could try to to shove this switch back in here but guess what it's not going to go in it, I mean, it's just not going to go in. So the only way to fix it at this point becomes having to take it out of the case. And it is pressure mounted with a gummy ring. And as you can see, so that corner has come out and someone wants to argue that this doesn't happen, but any of the corners you take out this is what happens see that o-ring starts coming into the spot where this where it because it's used literally using the switches as an anchor point um, that's going to put a lot of pressure on switches and it's probably going to bend some three pin switches but this right here is my primary complaint if I can get it off Because this is a clip-in stabilizer and this will constantly pop out I've replaced this one now several times right now they, <laughs> of course I'm doing a video and it's staying together but as you can see this will usually pop out if that pops out you've got to redo this whole section these pop out you probably you usually have to do either the entire couple of bottom rows or the entire thing but here's the same thing if we take out the switch out of the top you can see that that o-ring is is now too far in and there's no way to get the switch back in there the only way that i'm going to be able to fix this now is to pull it out of the case take off switches and keys and rearrange everything because this is a poor design switches and stabilizers should not be used as as supporting structures basically but so while this keyboard does sound lovely and I, I love gum gummy o-rings it should be using they should have added some posts some studs in place but as you can see see the o-ring because the o-ring is being held in place by switches yeah I mean I could try to you know, hold on to the O-ring out of the spot, you know, like try to hook it and pull it out or push it through or whatever to try to get the switch in there. But it's really, it's just an exercise in futility. So while I do like this keyboard, how it sounds, I think it is poorly designed, but I just wanted to make this real quick video just to demonstrate the issue. Because I mean, when people are telling me that that's not the case, when it is I mean you should not have to redo either some switches or all switches just because you took out a corner switch um, it's just it, it's absolutely ridiculous and trying to uh, to use you know a tool or put it in I'm not saying it's not impossible but it's definitely not going to be an easy task like right here I could hold this off and then try to put this in but then again, a switch, a switch is acting as structural support for an O-ring that is meant for pressure. So, and, a, and that, that's a switch. That's not something that's supposed to be support structure. So, um, I, uh, 
I was actually going to buy the Bakken Echo 65, but it's similar design, and I just I don't want to deal with it. But this is the reason why I think the Bakken Echo is a bad design, and I'm showing right here, despite someone saying that this isn't the case. So here is the proof positive. Until next time, keep calm, keep word on.